What's up guys, Justin Randall here. I'm going to walk you through some dynamic effort uh, pressing and subsequent accessory work. Um, I threw in a couple extra videos from an older workout so I had a bit more time. So on my dynamic days, um, I always use accommodating resistance uh, for eight sets of three with about 50% of my overall max. Um, and uh, today I went with a little bit less bar weight and a little bit more accommodating resistance. Um, so on, on your speed day, you want to be explosive. You really want to shove the weight off your chest as hard and as fast as you can. That's uh, really the idea of the day. Um, I encourage you to get videos of your lifts and to watch them because um, sometimes it can feel slow or feel fast and be completely the opposite. Um, and what you need to do is if it's slow, you need to take the weight down a little bit, check your ego, and and... and Use weight that you can be explosive with. Use weight that you can be fast with. That's that again. That's the point of the day, and, and you're really trying to teach yourself to be explosive. Um, I can't stress that enough. Um, so these are just some face pulls. Uh, I like to incorporate these on speed days. I typically do um, a lot of my back work on speed days, as uh, it's a little bit hard to re harder to recover it's from a back workout. Um, if I incorporate that on a max effort day. Um, as far as accessory work is concerned, I typically try to get in three to four sets of 10 to 15 reps with each given movement um, that I'm doing for that day. Uh, I know typically when you think of powerlifting, you think of guys uh, doing heavy work in the one to three rep range. I think what we don't talk about a lot about is that in our accessory work, we're typically, well, we should be, if you're not, you should be um, get, getting in that, that higher rep bodybuilding style training uh, to build bigger, stronger muscle. Um, you really got to build a, a big base and continue to, to work on that base all the way through your training from start to finish, from beginner to, to master level. These are just some tricep extensions. Um, as far as pressing is concerned, I can't stress enough. That you need to work your triceps, um, triceps, triceps, triceps. Um, really big deal uh, in any pressing movement, overhead, incline, decline, flat bench. Uh, work your triceps. Um, these are just some rear delt flies. I like to do these right now um, because I think they're hard. <laughs> I don't like doing them. Um, and as far as strength is concerned, um, for me, what I've found is that the things that I suck at are the things that tend to make me the strongest. Um, so I'm incorporating these in my training right now because uh, I did a set of them last week and I just hated them. Um, my back was pumped, it hurt. Um, I was breathing really, really hard. Um, and so I decided to, to do these, a few sets of these, closer to the 20 rep range uh, to really work on my GPP, try to breathe hard. Uh, the big part of this is, is trying to stay healthy, especially as you get bigger. Uh, you know, you, you want to continue to have good cardiovascular health, um, which I think a lot of us uh, kind of forget about. <laughs> we get in the gym, and, you know, we'll do our heavy work, maybe do a little bit of accessory work, get tired, and go eat. Uh, and that can't be the case. This is me just screwing around, trying to screw my shoulders up. Um, somebody told me I couldn't do a muscle up, so I didn't muscle up because I'm stupid enough to try to prove them wrong. And then I went ahead and did a back lever, which actually did kind of screw my shoulders up a little bit. Um, felt good, though. I haven't done any, any of this kind of stuff for a couple of years. Uh, anyway, thanks for listening. I hope you guys enjoyed. That's all, fatties.